Hey folks, Mr. K here. Uh, I'm just making a video for y'all. Uh, we're gonna make uh, this paper airplane, uh, the Stephen 4000's name after uh, my buddy I grew up with, Steve. Um, he may have also called it the Stav, because he went by Stav, S-T-A-V at one point. Stav 4000. Um, I actually need to look it up. I think it's based off of another model that he found when we were kids. Um, but this is like a circa 1998 model paper airplane. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. Um, you get your sheet of paper, and uh, what you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half, um, try to be as precise as you can, um, hot dog style here. Um, and uh, once you get that folded, it's really crucial to get the corners as lined up as you possibly can. Um, you just drop a nice seam down the middle there. And as you can tell, I'm looking at the other side of the sheet of paper because that text really isn't as, as uh, see, seen, it's uh, bleeding through. Now, once you have it folded in half, you can unfold it, and you're gonna fold this top corner in. Now, once we get that, and again, looking at precision, you're really trying to get that edge of the paper on the center fold. It's kind of like your traditional paper airplane. We're gonna mark that and get that corner going. Now, strange part about the Stephen 4000, Stab 4000, whatever we want to call it, you are going to take this whole triangle and you're going to fold it in towards the other edge of the sheet of paper as best as you can. So now you're left with kind of like a more of a s square, or like a smaller rectangle. All right, once we have that, you take this edge, it really doesn't matter how much you, you pull up, but you're gonna pull a little bit of it up and you're gonna fold it over itself. So now we are left with something that looks like this. Okay, so we got triangle, triangle folded up on itself. And once we have that, we can fold this back on the flip side, flip it over really is what I should say. And we're going to fold in this edge here and give a nice crease, working as best as I can to stay as close and as precise as possible. Getting a little bit off at this point, but that is okay. All mistakes are okay. You can fold this thing as many times as you want until you get it right. So now I'm left with this. I am gonna fold it in on itself. So now it's really starting to look more like a paper plane and all we got to do is make the wings. Okay. Um, now this one was really just like a style airplane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a fold just about here and try to end the fold just about up here. And now you can try to angle it however you want and you'll, you'll learn that the airplane kind of flies differently depending upon how you angle this wing. Now, again, Steve was very much concerned with making this plane look cool over going a distance or anything. We were able to get this thing to glide pretty far off of a hill. Um, so it is, is a pretty solid glider. Now, you got a paper plane. There are a couple other things you can do now. Uh, you can fold in the tip if you want to have kind of like a stunted, uh, stronger tip. Um, you could fold in the back, you could try to put some air foils by like bending there or there. But here's the Stephen 4000. Again, circa 1998. Pretty decent plane. Try to fold it, see how it goes. Ooh.